Well, I was kind of thinking first thing this morning I'd get out here and start watering again, but the ground is actually kind of wet-ish. Uh, I don't know if it's partially because I watered it yesterday. I noticed it was kind of a lot of moisture in the air when we got up this morning. So I think I'm going to hold off and let the sun work its magic on the ground, which is, if it's a little wettish, then uh, that's a good place for it to be to get these seeds started. Uh, looking out across the yard yesterday, it seemed to me that I could see a goodly bit more greenish around, which is what this is for, is to get some green grass growing but I got other things to to do uh, <clears throat> Jerry came over here last night Jerry Looney and we was looking at hot rod and the rat rod trailer and I flipped the lid up because I was going to show him you know it's kind of like a refrigerator and he was talking about having a big cooler at an upcoming event we've got and I realized the thing is full of stuff and some good stuff, some stuff I've been looking for, like my screwdrivers I think are probably in there. I've been looking, like where'd my screwdrivers go? Well, a lot of good looking stuff in there, so <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is see if I can get one of these John Deere mowers down here to crank and hook to that trailer, pull it up to the garage and unload it, and then figure out what I wanna put where with all that. So you can tell how that mud there is, is still wet. When Georgia mud gets dry, it turns kind of orangey and it's kind of reddish. So it's still, uh, it still has a good bit of moisture in it. See, this is dry Georgia mud. You can see how it's kind of orangish. So anyway, let's try. I think I got a, a newish battery in the John Deere that's in here, the one that was dad's. So. Let's see if I can get it to start, and if I can, I'll hook it to that little hot rod trailer right there. Uh, he wants me to bring that with me to the, we have a little redneck parade down here, a redneck Christmas parade. He's going to set up with some tent and cooler and some barbecue grills and stuff. And he wants me to come hang out there, which I think is awesome, because what could be funner than that? in this recently I figured that once I was no longer using the uh, ethanol gas that wouldn't be a problem but I might still have to put a new spark plug in it I don't know maybe I should be trying to back it up here on the starter where I can look at it a little more starter cool down for it to turn over anymore. Mm, I suppose we could drive the other one over there, see if it's running. It's just gonna start. I expect the battery's gonna be dead on that one. out of the garage give myself a little room to work out here uh, huh.
Maybe I'll go ahead and back the trailer kind of in there. Yeah, I got a feeling most of this stuff is going to end up going in there. Anyway. Here's something else I looked for the other day. This is a how I do WD-40, uh, and I've got a can of it up here that I bought somewhere along the way. I got a can of that and a can of Marvel Mystery Oil. And this keeps the WD-40 here. That way I don't have to buy those little jars, those little squirt jars that I always give out before you're ready for them to. And this is for the Marvel Mystery Oil. Uh, so, and sometimes I'll mix one up with transmission fluid and acetone to make some uh, homemade uh, what do you call that stuff that you loosen loose bolts with, stuck bolts, uh, penetrating, penetrating oil, yeah, do that. Uh, so, I believe this is going to be, yeah, the tire changing kit. Now, just the other day, I was changing a tire around here, and I was thinking, where is my tire changing kit? Now, this one... You know, it has these little tools that you use to put these little things in and all that. Well, I bought another one and used it the other day. And it's probably somewhere. I probably put it in one of these little things like this somewhere. That's one of the things you have to do when you get a, tool, a few toolboxes is you have to put things in them and then you have to learn what you got in them and where it's at. So, I'm not sure where that is, but once I locate it, buddy, who is going to be sharp? But I got this, so this is a, a good place to keep stuff at. So, that'll go up here in this garage. And this box here is full of uh, like uh, gasket material, instant gasket, and all kinds of things like that. I'm not even sure what that is. Tough elastic sealant. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff like that. And then these are my good craftsman, my good craftsman type tap and die set. You notice I'm setting all this on the nearest flat surface, and that ain't gonna do. I'm not to put it somewhere other than that. And then this one is my soldering axe. This is my some 12 volt wiring stuff. And I've got a 12 volt wiring box right up here. So that'll go with that. This is a plumbing tool that you use with PEX pipe to squeeze those little rings with. I'll need to take that around. And you know what I might do is that cart there is a it's a really handy cart. I took the wheels off. To come down here and I never did really attach them back on so I think I'll get a couple little half inch wrenches and just reattach these axles right quick. 
just lay this over. That way, all this stuff is going to a different basement room. I can sit on that. One of the things I'm going to want to do is uh, somebody makes little wheels, little hard wheels the size of these bicycle tires. I think these are probably about 20 inch bicycle tires, bicycle wheels. And I remember looking online and seeing where you could get some of those at Harbor Freight or someplace like that. So that's another thing I'm going to do is eventually replace these with some tires that have some rubber of some sort on them. That'll make them a lot nicer. Get me a couple little wrenches and we'll tighten them up. It's got some good bearings in it. That one ain't too bad either. There we go. Sun's coming up. Shirt's sure getting hot. It's about time to start stripping. That's the way it is down here, you know. Sun comes up and you know, get the long sleeve shirt on. Before you know it, you have to start taking the clothes off. That's okay. That's better than being up in Maine where they're shoveling snow and pushing it around with snow plows. I had a <clears throat> friend from up here put up a thing on Facebook yesterday about being up there and all the snow on the ground and talking about getting the snow fly off starting snow and plowing snow and I was watering grass yesterday and I started just to take a picture of the water sprinkler send it to her so she could see how tough it is for us down here living in the sunny south you know but I decided that might be a little mean spirited so I saved that I save that for another day. I don't need to. I probably shouldn't be rubbing it in, especially when people are breaking out their snow shovels and their snow plows, you know. Already already got enough on their mind. Oh, what do we got here? More people saying stuff. I can't put all this online because what he's saying ain't politically correct. So I see what you're doing there, buddy. I'm cleaning this trailer out. All of my treasures was inside of it. If you hadn't come over last night and had me open that up, I would not have realized they was there. So thanks to I'm you. Finding stuff.